corporate finance practice problem using Excel. Acquisition in two steps. Get ready. It's time to take our chance with corporate finance. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you have access to the Excel worksheet, would like to follow along. Note that we're in the practice tab as opposed to the example tab. The example tab in essence being an answer key. Information on the left hand side, we're going to populate that into the blue area on the right hand side. Looking at an acquisition situation, one company thinking about acquiring another, structuring the acquisition in kind of a two-step type of process versus a one-step type of process, noting that obviously the format and structure of an acquisition process can be quite diverse. There can be different formats in terms of how the actual acquisition could move forward. So we're going to say A to buy out B company, B's information, the shares outstanding are 2 million. 300,000 the stock price at the $43. Now remember of course when we're thinking about the valuation of the company just in terms of the current value stock price it the value of the company would then be calculated as the 2,300 shares times the $43 per share that would be basically what you would consider the starting point of the market value in essence of the company to be given the market price and number of shares out there. That doesn't determine what the sales price will be necessarily because that will, could take into other conditions and whatnot what's going to be expected to happen in the future. Once the transaction takes place, then you can kind of consider that to be the market price considering the fact that the acquisition itself is a market type of transaction. I'm going to delete this here. Step one on the true two-step kind of process is going to be the percent of shares to purchase in step one. It's going to be 57% of the shares first. The payment per share we're going to say is $71 at that point. And then step two, the second uh, offer convertible preferred stock at the 753,000 shares of convertible preferred stock. The market value of the preferred stock is going to be a percent over the common stock price, 40% over the common stock price. And we'll contrast this to the second option where there's just going to be a straight purchase for the amount of $64 per share. So we'll compare and contrast these two. So the, so the purchase cost, then we're going to say the total shares are going to be this uh, 2,300,000. And the percent to purchase, we're going to first be purchasing the percent to purchase. And the first step is the 57%. We're going to purchase 57% of them. Number group, percentifying that. Font group, and then underlining. Noting here that anything over the 51% you would think would basically, of course, give us control at that point in time. So then we're going to say there that we have the shares to purchase is going to be equal to the 2,300,000 times the 57%. That's going to be at the 1,311,000. And then the cost per share that we said that we were going to be paying payment per share is going to be the $71, $71. Let's underline that by going to the font group and underline. That's going to give us a purchase cost, which is going to be equal to the 1,311,000 times the 71. That's going to be the $93,081,000. Then on step two, we're going to be issuing the preferred stock of the 753000 We say it's going to be 40% over the stock price up top is going to be the value so we're going to say the let's pick up the common stock price which is going to be the 43 and it's going to be the market value of the preferred stock is 40 percent over so let's take one plus the percent over the common stock to get the value so it's going to be one plus the 40 percent because it's going to be 140 percent over let's make that a percent number group percentifying it font group and underlining it that'll give us our preferred stock per share that's going to be the 43 times the 140 percent making that let's add some decimals number group couple decimals so we're at 60.2 in the value per share and then we've got the preferred stock, the number of preferred stock. Let's say number of preferred stock, which is going to be equal to the 753,000. So underlining that font group and underlining, that's going to give us our preferred stock cost, 
which is going to be the 60.2 times the 753,000 for the 45 three three zero six hundred now if we add those two up step one and step two we are at a value of the 138 for 11 600 option two is just a straightforward 64 dollars uh, per share so that's option number two so that's a pretty straightforward option we're simply going to be taking then the number of shares which is going to be the two million three hundred thousand and we have the offer price, which we simply said, we simply said, saying it simply was $64. Underlining that font group and underlining, that's gonna give us our single offer amount of the 2,000,003 times the 64. So we're at the 147,200. So of the two, it looks like the single offer amount is going to be higher in, in value than the value of this two-step offer that we came up to in this practice problem.